David Villa will step up, as I said he would, first of all. It doesn't count as a goal in terms of goal scored uh, at international level, of course. This is merely a penalty shootout exercise. And not an official goal count. So it will be David Villa against Gianluigi Buffon. Villa hoping to put Spain ahead. It's certainly an interesting tactic, that one of Buffon's. It doesn't always work out, of course. Croatia took the first one the other night and lost. So on the shoulders of David Villa is the responsibility to score first, and he does so. Spain won Italy nil. And the fans behind Buffon's net celebrate. Loudly, the Spanish flag is waving, and I bet uh, King Juan Carlos is celebrating as well. Italy's turn with the man who scored for them in the World Cup final from the spot. And Fabio Grosso steps forward again, hoping for a similar result to the one in Berlin. It is Grosso with the left foot. Oh, he's made it. He's still got a 100% record. Spain won, Italy won. Look at Tony licking his lips. His turn may be yet to come. So we're all square as Cathola, Santi Cathola from Villarreal, snaps up next. He hopes to nudge Spain ahead for the second time. Buffon will believe that he can keep it out, but Cathola's good enough to make it. Buffon went the wrong way, 2-1 Spain, how happy is he? Oh, bien, senor. Oh, still celebrating. That's the biggest moment of his young footballing life for Santi Cazorla. The pressure increases. Next up will be Daniele Di Rossi. He has a, a goal in these championships from a free kick. This to make it 2-2. And Casillas foils him, it's advantage Spain. Their players are kissing and cuddling in the centre circle. There's a long way to go, though. Just because one is missed doesn't mean to say that you are through. And Marcos Senna is the third Spaniard to step forward. He will try and make it 3-1. Not insurmountable, but very difficult for the Italians if he scores. Born in Brazil, now very much a citizen of Spain. Is this going to make him a hero in Spain? Or can Buffon get Italy back into this one? What a moment for Marcos Senna. He's equal to it. Spain 3, Italy 1. Spain edging closer to a meeting with Russia. a similar scenario to the other evening in a way where you feel now that every Italian kick simply has to go in 3-1 it is Mauro Camaranesi huge pressure born in Argentina this to make it 3-2 oh it was cool it was very cool and believe you and me Italy are still alive They've done better than Croatia did. They lost 3-1, remember. The Italians can still barely look. He was cool, wasn't he? He went their way in Berlin, the Italians. It's going Spain's way at the moment. But they're not over the finishing line yet. They lead 3-2. And this one is to make it 4-2. And it is Danny Githa. Almost unheard of outside Spain before these championships. It's Danny Githa, and if he scores here, it's 4-2. Buffon has made the save that brings Italy right back into this. The top scorer in La Liga. But the Italians, well, they don't know whether to laugh or cry. Italy still lead, Spain still lead, of course. But the advantage has been lost if Di Natale scores and brings them all level again here. Di Natale who has been booed by many fans in the crowd ever since uh, a perceived dive. 
But if he scores here, we are back level. We are not. Casillas does the job again. It looks like being Ike Casillas' night because now Italy cannot afford any misses. Mind you, Spain still have to put their next one in. It is 3-2 Spain and Cesc Fabregas, one of the young up-and-coming stars from the World Youth Championships through to the senior team. The player from England's Premier League club, Arsenal. Fabregas! Spain are going through. Italy are going out. Fabregas, a cool head on young shoulders at the age of 21. The man who got his first international goal in the opening game of the championships for Spain against Russia is the hero of the night. And Italy, who two years ago tasted sweetness in their triumph in the World Cup final on penalties against France, have tonight been beaten on penalties. 4-2 it was after Fabregas, with unerring accuracy, put the ball wide of Gianluigi Buffon. There will be Italian tears, there will be tears for Spain as well, but theirs are of joy. Italy's tears are of sadness. They are out. And Spain are on to their first semi-finals since 1984. They will meet Russia for a right to play in the final here in Vienna against either Germany or Turkey. Crestfallen Italian players, jubilant Spaniards.